At the power of, of that computer back then, that's a whole room full. Um, that same power is probably in, on a smartphone right now. <laughs> you just ought to think about it. That's how the technology has changed so much over the years. My name is Larry Bailey. Uh, I was at UNT from 1977 to 1981, and I graduated uh, with a BS degree in computer science. I spent four years in the Air Force, and I probably would have stayed a little longer, but I wanted to get into the computer field. My brother, who was about four years older than me, he was, heck, was currently working for NASA in the computer uh, field, and he just said, hey, you know, you might want to try computer science. I know exactly what that was. <laughs> and uh, he recommended that I, I take basic programming course. And I did. Uh, I enjoyed it, fell in love with it, and that's how I got started with being computer science at North Texas. Back in 1977, obviously, uh, computers were sort of new then, and the technology is not as great as it is today, so we were known to generate um, our programming class when I took BASIC. We basically had to key use key punching um, machines. Uh, that's where you literally sit there and, and type in some information, it punches out on a card, and that card is scanned in by the computer, and it basically gives you a readout of your program and stuff. They had a huge lab uh, that all the students had to go to, and primarily it was busy, so most of the time it was at night. And, you know, most of us spent the night in the, in the computer lab, uh, you know, getting our programs to work and so that uh, we'll have them ready for the next day. And learning uh, BASIC and COBOL and stuff, that's where we sort of started out. And um, obviously, once I got my degree and in moving into uh, the field itself, uh, that was my first job uh, as being a computer programmer. Some of the key things that I learned when I first started um, school at uh, the University of North Texas was you have to get the fundamentals, you have to sort of understand the fundamentals of coding and, and the logic of coding and, and no matter what program after that, whether it's basic, whether it's COBOL, whether it's some new one that hadn't been uh, developed yet, it's, if you get that basic stuff, then it'll help you um, move forward uh, to the new stuff. Those early courses that I took on computer science helped me keep that foundation to help me um, continue on when things start changing. Um, you know, obviously there's new techniques, but that underlying foundation logic, understanding that, that helped me even when it came to the new things that came out later. I was one of the first African-American students that, that applied uh, and started taking those classes. And uh, the interesting thing about my experience at North Texas is at the time, even though it was a low minority percentage as far as the students on campus, the one thing that I did know, notice is all the black students sort of helped each other. We, we were just so proud to be one of the first uh, to, to be able to say, hey, I got one of the first computer science degrees offered at the University of North Texas.